Welcome, sports fans. Thanks for joining us. It's the NBA on 2K Sports. Along with Greg Anthony, Brett Berry, and our sideline reporter, David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. It's the Phoenix Suns and the Portland Trailblazers. And it's the Suns to start out. Looking at the starting five for the Phoenix Suns. Booker and Bridges are the wings. Jay Crowder out there with Ayton. And it's Paul in at the point. Hits it from three-point range. Paul's got the first points up on the board for Phoenix. Nice job catch and shoot there. Chris Paul making it look simple and caught the defense a little bit out of position. Batum against Bridges. Here's Camby. Bridges with the board. D giving him that shot, and that's probably not a good idea, but I guess they knew what they were doing that time. Oh, that's blocked. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Trailblazers will take it. And now, let's revisit that exceptional mobile one block. And early in the game, a defensive play like that goes a long way, establishing the attitude you want. And here's Miller. He'll bring it up for Portland. It's a three-point game. Passes it to Roy. Back to Miller. Three-pointer on the way. But they'll get another chance. And it's Aldridge missing. And here's Phoenix. Here's Booker. Oh, he gets the rebound. The right thing there to stay that tight on him and, and really try to keep him out of his comfort zone. Count it. Uncovered at the rim, finding cracks in the defense here early on. Just really smart basketball and exploiting whatever holes that he's seeing right now in the defensive squad. And it's Aiton missing. There's a little bit of pressure on him, but not enough to cause him to miss a shot that's in that close. Miller against Paul. Miller inside. That shot off. Some solid defense from Ayton. The pass to Bridges. It's hauled in by the Trailblazers. Still searching out their offensive game right now. One of five from the field to start this one. Pass to Roy. Bridges against Batum. Lock at six. And Batum brings length and a versatile game to his spot on the wing. And his defense, always a big asset for this team. He's the kind of player that everybody needs to have out there. Kind of a glue guy. Shooting two. Ties it up, and this next one could give them the lead. And they now lead as the free throw drops for him. And you can tell he's feeling confident right now at the line, and when he's on, he can be lights out. And on our sideline, our reporter, David Alder. I had a chance to catch up with Nate McMillan. He was talking about the resilience of Chris Paul. Coach said no matter what you throw at him, even if they're down, he finds a way to win games. His will is strong. It's a tough matchup for sure. Guys, back to you. Thanks so much, David. Just under two and a half minutes elapsed here in the first. And that's out of bounds. Phoenix will retain possession. Here's Paul. 
to the left wing. Bridges, no one around him. And again, it's the Suns missing. And they had some boxed coverage that turned into no coverage. And then Roy with the jam. Oh, you got to love his aggressiveness to finish inside. Well, his leaping ability gives him a great advantage. Now, here's Bridges. Pass to Crowder. Puts up a three. First shot, first basket. He's out of the blocks fast. And that's exactly what he's looking for, draining the triple. And here's Miller. Here's Aldridge. He dishes it to Canby. Off target at the rim. Crowder feeling it out a bit. He kicks to Paul. Just under three and a half minutes gone here in the first quarter. Got a piece of it and taken away by Roy. And here we go. Trailblazers with a fast break. Offline from the high post. And so Booker will bring it up for Phoenix. Crowder with it. Camby picks him up. Paul with the ball. Got it. Good job in the low post. Paul's got five now. Well, he's such a good scorer when he gets inside that painted area. One of the game's best mid-range players that we've ever seen. Chris Paul getting it done. Now here's Roy. Addition now to Batum. From outside off the mark. Well, even though he misses that one, the defense has got to talk about that. And that's a bad miscue. And you can't give up looks like that all game long. It's Crowder on the wing. Covered by Miller. Here's Batum. Miller outside. Pass to Roy. Aldridge left side. Shoots over Crowder. And Aldridge the basket on the assist by Roy. He's such a strong offensive player. Aldridge looking to shoot the ball as often as he can. Ball passes to Booker. Over Roy. A nice shot by Booker. That's just tremendous scoring instinct. So fun to watch him work in the half court. On the wing, Batum. At the elbow, it's Aldridge. Outside Roy. Just five to shoot. Tries again. And Aldridge with the layup. How about the stretch arms there of Aldridge? Awesome at using those to gobble up a second chance opportunity. Outside Crowder. Poked loose and stolen by Aldridge. And now Batum pushing it up. No one back to stop him. And the defense to start that play was terrific. I love the fact that they attacked early in the shot clock. The Trailblazers have gone two for two in the game at the line. Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. One shot. Free throw good from Batum. Suns trail by three. Paul kicks to Bridges. There's the pass to Crowder. Pass to Paul. Six to shoot. Bridges with it. Defended by Batum. Uh, if he's going to keep shooting, they've got to run some plays for him. Screens, pick and rolls, anything they can do to get him started. High post can be. And the rejection by Eaton. Oh, man, 7-1. Not a good idea to challenge Eaton there. For three, Booker. That one falls. His second basket of the game. He's now two for three. Booker's gone two or three from the floor. Roy against Booker. 
And some nice ball movement here by the Trailblazers. It's good. Just another way Aldridge beats you. As a facilitator, very comfortable making decisions. Here's Paul, and the Suns tack on two more. Well, looking into the gaps of the defense there, he's not going to miss many of those when he gets to that range. Outside, Batum. Pass to Aldridge. Trying to get open his camp. Aldridge misses. Here's Bridges, and it's slammed in by Bridges. Bridges showing off his athleticism. He's able to get in there at full speed and still score. Miller surveying the floor. Passes it to Kim. That's in, coming off an assist from Miller. Camby's got the game tied up here for the Trailblazers. And those are the kind of nice inside looks they've gotten here in the first half. Booker outside. And the layup's good off the glass. Booker's got seven. Now Roy. Dishes to Batum. Down low. Here's Camby and slam dunk by Camby. There are only a few players in the league who can hit a teammate like that in stride. Beautiful assist. And the Suns call time. And coaches looking to seize every advantage, maximize every possession. Got to feel good as a coach if you make all those adjustments. Pull the right strings. That's what they love to do. So for the Trailblazers, Greg Oden, he's checked in for Alden. And Smills in for Andre Miller. And the Suns here with a different look. Charge checked in for Aiton. Johnson comes in for Jay Crowder. Torrey Craig, he's checked in for Mikael Bridges. And it's Payne in for Paul. Now here's Booker. Seven points in the game. Over Roy. No good from Booker. And they double up Roy. Kicks to Odin. But Trey, the shot will not fall. So Phoenix will take it the other way. Whistle blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. I mean, it's just fun to sit back and enjoy watching him operate. And that's what it looked like the D was doing as well. They're just sitting back and watching. Phoenix shooting their first free throw of the game. And one of the highlights last year for this group was the fact that they were so efficient from the charity strike. That's a huge factor. Blazers trail by three. Mills looking it over. Odin against Sharich. It's stolen by Sharich. Now here's Payne. And there's the pass to Booker. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Now it's a five-point Phoenix lead. Well, Booker can mix it up. Once he's got a lane to the hoop, he jumps all over the defense there. For three, Roy. A rebound by Johnson. Yeah, one player sometimes can drag down your offense, and he seems to be an anchor here in this quarter. Sharich off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. And Mills kicks to Roy. And here's Mills. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. No good from Roy. You can see the frustration in the quarter on his face, especially with his team trail. No good from Booker. Trailblazers trail by seven. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, that, their offense has ground to a standstill. The three from Mills. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. For all the strides he's made in other parts of his game, Mills remains at his heart a dead-eye three-point shooter. 
Sharks dishes to paint. To the middle. And denied. He sends it right off the glass. And now in transition is Mills. Here we go. A shot by Batum. No good. Suns leading by four. Payne passes to Sharich. Back to Payne. Johnson outside. He dishes it to Booker. Five on the clock. Back to Johnson. Phoenix, no good that time either. Well, he's got a great stroke. That one almost dropped. Roy gets the bucket. I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here is eye-opening. There's 48 seconds left here in the opening quarter. Payne with it. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. They get Marcus Campbell. Well, that's how you draw it up right there. A screen to shed the defense, a quick move to the bucket, and you get the lay-in. For Phoenix, they have made their only other free throw attempt today in an earlier trip to the line. LaMarcus well, Aldridge has checked in for Portland. Andre Ayton's checked in for the Suns. That's good from Payne. And it's Mills with the ball for Portland. Trailing by five. He kicks it to Roy. Aldridge the pass to Batum. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. It's going to be on charge. Yeah, good job to take it right at the D. He's made all three of his free throws so far. Nicholas Batum at the line for two. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First one falls for him. Both free throws good from Batum. 23 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Here's Booker. Nine points in the game so far. Pass to Aiton with four seconds on the clock. That one's not going to go. I didn't see that miss coming. I mean, he's usually been money from that range. And indeed, they're going to look at it again. They need to be certain he beat the buzzer. And, and to me, guys, it, it looks pretty clear-cut on the instant replay. I mean, the ball was out of his hands in time. I think they'll confirm this one pretty quickly. Well, they're going to switch the call. There is no doubt in looking at the replay that he got it off in time. Well, it's good they decided to take another look at it. I know some folks don't like how replay slows the game down and interrupts the flow, but... When you have it there, you got to use it. We'll get right back to the action when we return. Ladies and gentlemen, dance team. And close game underway so far. We'll see if either of these teams can jump out in the second quarter. What stands out to you guys from the Trailblazers so far in this one? Well, they use the fast break to generate some easy buckets before the defense could get set. Yeah, they did a great job. Just the initial thrust of that attack, as soon as they got the ball, constantly in transition. Here's Mills. On the court right now, second quarter starting for the Suns. Booker and Johnson fill out the wings. Sharich and Aiton at the four and the five. And it's Payne in at the one. Here's Aldridge. That ball, great assist by Brandon Roy. Roy's got four assists in the game. 
pass to Ayton. Back to Payne. Booker outside. Shot clock at six. Ayton against Batum. And it's Ayton missing. That's the kind of D you need when he's got the ball near the hoop. They were all over. Mills passes to Aldridge. That's good, and it's his fourth basket of the game. He's a strong four for six. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket coming off a pretty pass. Here's Roy. There it is, his third basket. He's taken seven shots to get those three. And they've had assists now on their last three baskets. Roy against Booker. And the dunk by Booker. And Booker taking a little bit of it out on the rim that time. Trailblazers leading by four. Now Mills. Outside, Batum. Aldrich kicks to Batum. Now here's Mills. He's tightly guarded. Offensive rebound, Aldrich. Goes straight to the defender for the dunk. Draws the foul. He'll go to the line. It's going to be on charge. That's what he gives you. A big-time presence on the glass. And you know what, Greg? Once he gets his hands on it, he's not even thinking about kicking it out. Oh, his competitiveness right now is why the teammates love him. Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. One shot. Free throw good, Odin. And we're about two minutes into the second quarter here. Now here's Payne. Passes it to Booker. Booker draws the double. Eaton wide open. Off target with his three. A good board there, Kevin. But overall, they're getting slightly out rebounded. Boy with the bucket. They settled into a nice groove offensively here in the second. Phoenix calls timeout. And coach can't be happy, and, and I think I know why. Their defense putting up no resistance inside. No, they're not preventing them from scoring. And if you can get to a high efficiency shot on the floor, and that's the paint, you just keep going. Miller's checked in for Patty Mill. Phoenix also making some changes. Bridges comes in for Sharich, and Paul subbed in for Cameron Payne. Booker draws the double. Phoenix no good that time either. And I thought that was going to drop. It looked good from here. And Chris Paul picks up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. Jay Crowder's checked in for Phoenix. Here's Miller. They lead by their biggest margin of the game. Nine. That one drops for his second bucket. Mark him two for four. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. Well, I know they don't have mobile devices out there for texting, so they might as well talk to one another. Three-pointer, Crowder to halt the run, and Ayton with the layup. Defense unable to stop DeAndre Ayton that time getting inside and using his frame. Miller kicks to Batum. And the pass to Oden. Back to Batum. No good with the triple. Not quite enough defense. That time around, just lucky he was off. A nice shot by Booker. And Booker getting more and more comfortable fighting through NBA defenses. He used his ability there to get through contact. Ball against Miller. Outside Batum. Miller outside. Just four to shoot. Tries a three. But they get it back. 
Roy kicks to Batum. Miller outside. Misses the three. Well, his shooting has been a little bit below par. You think about what this lead would look like if he was on. And the dunk by Booker. Well, he passes to the wide open man, Bridges, developing some team chemistry. Trailblazers leading by five. Right side, Roy. Shoots over Crowder. Here's Odin. Up and in. Off to an efficient start. Two for three from the field. And a better box out saves them two points there. It didn't seem like anybody was really aware there to go and collect that rebound in the possession. Booker with no one around. Again, the miss by Booker. And here's Miller. He'll bring it up for the Portland Trailblazers. Batum inside the three-point line. Wasted no time on that shot, but it's off the mark. Paul passes to Bridges. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. Bridges has got his second basket of the game. Chris Paul came into the league playing unselfish, continues to do so with a dime. Miller outside. Floats one. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. That one on Aiton. And this is his second trip to the line in the game. Taking two shots. Shooting two. And the first one at the line is good. And the Trailblazers making a change here. Camby's checked in. Odin hits them both. Suns trail by seven. And a foul called on Andre Miller. That is his first foul of the game. Phoenix with the ball. Back to Aiton. Rejected by Campbell. And this feels like it's snowballed a little bit on them. The more he tries to shoot his way out of this slump, the worse it seems to get. Oh, oh, that was something else. Wow, and that sort of showmanship is just deflating right now to a team trying to get back into a game like this. Ouch, Greg, that is definitely an emphasis jam. A big apostrophe or exclamation point, maybe even a question mark. Find the lanes. Find the lanes. One shot. And Camby, no good on that one. Suns trail by nine. Here's Booker. A beautiful reverse layup. Booker's got 17. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. Miller, the pass to Oden. No good that time. Some solid defense from eight. Miller against Paul. The feed now to Crowder. Good ball movement here by the Suns. Trailblazers leading by seven. Pass to Roy. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. Yeah, that first quarter was a bit shaky. Good to see a player who doesn't let a slow start get to him. The Trailblazers have knocked down eight of nine free throw attempts. I'd say those numbers read pretty well. One shot. That's good from Roy. 
And here's Booker. 17 points in the game. The inside just a bit too congested for him to get the usual shot he would have with rhythm. Miller against Bridges. Here's Canby, and he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. And these are his second and third free throws tonight. Marcus Canby. Two shots. Shooting two. That free throw, no good. So he can't get either to fall. And so it's Crowder with it. He'll bring it up for the Sun. Kept alive. No good that time. Portland leading by 10. Here's Miller. Good work defensively by Crowder. There's the dish to Booker. Back to Crowder. Camby with the block. Miller with the ball. Out of bounds. It'll go to the Suns. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Aiton in the high post. Back to Bridges. And it's slammed in by Bridges. That's a good find from Aiton, understanding the defensive scheme. And he just waited for his teammate to be open. Shots good by Miller. Miller's got six points. I just think that's trouble. You're gonna you're gonna let that guy shoot layups. You're asking for it. Paul surveying the floor. To the paint. Here's Crowder. Good. A nice assist from Booker. He has five. Now Booker is a special offensive player. Can timeout, score timeout. and starting to show his playmaking. So timeout called here. The first for Portland. in for Portland. Charge checked in for the Suns. Payne comes in for Devin Booker. And Batum kicks to Miller. Let's a floater go. And he lays it up and in. Miller's got six here in this quarter. Always fun to look at. Not tremendously efficient, but the floater. Boy, those sure are pretty. Crowder against Odin. Outer dishes to Paul. Six to shoot over Miller. Almost, but it rolls out. It's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that one. Batum passes to Miller, trying to get open his camp. That's good from Miller on the assist by Batum. Batum's got three assists in the game. Ball against Miller. Floats it up for Sharge. Oh, I love that dish down low. Trailblazers leading by 10. Miller outside. Shoots over Payne. And again, it's Andre Miller. Miller's got 12. Wow, unconscious has he been this quarter. They're riding that hot hand. Pass to Sharge. 158 left to play in the first half. Out to the right wing. 
kicks it to Bridges. And being that close to the hoop, I thought he had enough room to finish that one. And it's Miller penetrating. The second effort. And taken away by Paul. Bridges passes to Crowder. Uses the glass to finish the layup. And that's now seven points for Jay Crowder. Now lead passes like that are so hard to defend. He never had to break his stride. So full speed, two points. And Chris Paul picks up the foul. So that will be his second foul of the game. We're in the bonus. And we'll go to the line to shoot two. The Trailblazers have been shooting right around 75% of the line. Take nine of 12 so far. Two shots. And the first one drops. Well, Marcus Aldridge is checked in for Greg Oden. And Phoenix also making a switch. Johnson's checked in. Suns trail by 12. Pass to Sharich. Back to Paul. Aldridge against Johnson. Dishes it to Payne. Knocked away. And he makes that one. Payne's got his second bucket. There's 57 seconds left to play here in the half. Here's Mills. And there's the pass to Miller. Johnson over to help. And here's Mills from the arc. And a great assist by Miller as that one goes in. Miller's got four assists in the game. Now here's Paul, covered by Mills. Ball passes to Sharich. Nice D from Camby. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. Good on the bucket. Miller's got 16 points. Well, he doesn't look satisfied with the lead right now. He wants more, and he looks like he's going to get it. Mills with the steal. Batum wide open. He fires off the left rim and out. And I was sure that was money on that one, but everyone is afforded an easy miss or two. Yeah, that happens. Important thing is for players, just don't beat yourself up and make a miss like that cost you another play. Oh, power flush with a long hang on the rim at the end of that. that could be, you know, that could be a catalyst for him. It really could. And so it's the Portland Trail Blazers. 13 points up at the end of the period. And their ability to get points in the paint has made all the difference in this one. We've got more NBA basketball coming your way in just a minute. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Greetings to each and every one of you watching at this very moment. Uh, I'm Ernie Johnson. Kenny the Jet Smith is here. Shaq is here. One half is behind us. Welcome to the 2K Sports Halftime Show. The first quarter for the Trailblazers was fairly even. The period wrapped up with the teams on level ground and the score tied. The second quarter was where they really opened things up. They were by far the stronger team both defensively and when they had the ball. Their 13-point halftime lead, no accident. Jack, how do you think the Trailblazers were playing? They had a little bit of intimidation factor tonight. They attacked the glass with a lot of energy. When you get an opponent on their heels, you got to keep attacking. And Kenny, what are your thoughts on Phoenix? I look at the lack of free throw attempts as a key indicator. Because the funny thing about getting to the charity strike, you have to earn it. You have to put your body in harm's way and be physically willing to take the hit. Right now, one team's playing aggressively and the other team isn't. That's the big difference in the score. And that's a wrap. With the third quarter approaching, we now send you back to Kevin and the crew. With a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. You gotta like what Devin Booker is doing in this one. And guys, we saw just how tough he can be with a step to the rim. Great job of just attacking that first half. Yeah, nice job of carving his way to the inside with some ease. Not much resistance out there. 
And there wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. They've got Brandon Roy. Batuma's out there with LaMarcus Aldridge. That's Camby, and it's Miller in at the point guard position. They're the group for Nate McMillan starting the second half. A tremendous mobile one block that we had to see again. Great send back. And they're determined to add to the lead, not with more offense, but with big time D. Now Miller. to Roy. Six on the shot clock. That's a nice contest. That's not going to show up in the box score, but Aiton bothered that shot. And it's sent back by Aldridge. Batum scanning the floor. There's the three. And it's Phoenix with the rebound. Now here's Booker. Pass to Aiton. Over Miller. And it's Aiton missing. Trailblazers leading by 13. Miller outside. Passes it to Aldridge. And it's Phoenix with the rebound. Aiton's got eight rebounds in this game. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Just no resistance on the inside. That's their fifth consecutive make in the paint. Roy kicks to Batum. Here's the pass to Alden. Miller inside, defended by Paul. Shots good by Miller. Miller's got 18 points in the game. Well, there it is. 0 of 3 to start the half, and finally, something finds its way through the net. Ball against Roy. Shoot from the line. Roy with the block. Now they're going to try to search out for somebody that's got a hot hand right now. 1 of 4 to start the half. And that's a terrific sequence at, at both ends there. There was the block shot, then the run out, and nice finish on the break. Hooker the pass to Aiton. And they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. That's with the foul there. Aiton's powerful on the inside. At 7-2, he'll go through you. Phoenix shooting their third free throw attempt of the game. What's up? Free throw drops for Aiton. DeAndre Aiton back in 2018 heard his name called first in the NBA draft, and he averaged a double double in his first year in the NBA. Exciting to see what is next for this big man. And that one's good by Aldridge. Doing a lot of nice work now from the field. He's helped get them this lead, and now he's helped them keep it. That one's in there. The Trailblazer lead is cut down now to just 12 on the basket from Booker. Now how smooth is Devin Booker's J right there? And inside the arc, he nails it. Miller against Paul. Miller dishes to Aldrich. Here's Roy. He kicks it to Canby. They get it back. Down through the hoop it goes. That's his fifth make on nine shots from the floor. Well, he seems to be in the right place at the right time more often than anybody that's on the court here tonight. We see that pay off. Outside Crowder. And it's sent back by Aldridge. Well, he's become a defensive anchor here for this team over the past couple seasons. Great timing on the block there. And so it's Crowder with it. He'll bring it up for Phoenix. It's a 14-point game, and Aiton throws it down. And way to finish and cut into that lead a little bit. Yeah, but look at the, ba the basket, guys, still shaking. 
Roy against Booker. Platoon passes to Aldridge. And it's good for two. Aldridge has got 12 points in the game. Well, back to the basket. Sometimes more facing up is Aldridge. He excels right there down in the painted area. Good chance here for Booker. Gets hauled in by the Trailblazers. Aldridge has got rebound number seven for him tonight. Here's Miller. And it's Devin Booker with the rebound. Suns trail by 14. A shot by Paul. Nobody around. Buries it from three-point range. Ten points for him. A good three-point shooter a few years back. Paul's turned himself into a great one. Important to do later in your career. Roy passes to Aldridge. Batum inside the three-point line. Hits the jumper in space. And the Trailblazers lead by 13. And the Suns call time. Well, whether things are good, bad, or indifferent, coaches will have adjustments to make throughout the course of the game. Yeah, not just there to pump up or to discipline players. You've got to make sure that the coach makes the proper adjustments and has his team in the right mindset to carry it out. change here. Mills is checked in. Johnson, he's checked in for the Suns. And Phoenix has possession. Crowder kicks to Booker. Crowder inside. Aldridge is there. Shot by Crowder, no good. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. Here's Roy. Rebounded by DeAndre Ayton. Ayton's got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. Goes up on the high post. A nice shot by Booker. Booker's got 21. Yeah, Booker filling it up quickly here tonight. You got to respect the versatility, especially how dangerous he is on the offensive end. Now here's Mills, defended by Paul. Mills passes to Kim. Five to shoot. He dishes it to Roy. A floater, and the layup is good. Roy's got 13. Always fun to look at. Not tremendously efficient, but the floater, boy, those sure are pretty. Pass to Paul. Releases from 15. Rejected by Campbell. Lots of times you don't mind fouling a big, but Aiton's a solid foul shooter. The Suns have made three free throws so far. Haven't missed any. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first one falls. Greg Oden, he's checked in for the Trailblazers. Phoenix also making some changes. Sharch checked in for Jay Crowder, and it's Payne in for Paul. Hits them both. Portland leading by 11. 
And here's Mills. He has six. To the inside. Roy trying to get open is over. And Brandon Roy. The bucket on the assist by Mills. Well, there's a couple things that Patty is working on to be a better player in this league, and finding the open man is one of them. Feeds it to Booker. And the dunk by Booker. And that's a little lack of fight at the defensive end. Uh, absolutely. At least on that slam, you're right. That's one way to let a team back in the game. You have to credit the aggressiveness offensively because that's when you make a play when you really need it. Roy with the bucket. Another good play. This is how they built the lead, calling on the right guys at the right time. Basketball IQ is something that gets talked about, but it's importance to a team showing up here, running plays that turn into scores. Now here's Mills. He's guarded close. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. Shots are just flowing for him right now, having a really strong quarter. That's good from Roy. Suns trail by 14. Booker with it. He's got 25. Booker draws the double. It's Sharik's top of the key. Doesn't go that time. And it's Portland the other way. Here's Batum. He's got 14. Now Mills. Pass to Aldridge. Double team on Aldridge. And the ball's tied up, so we'll have a jump ball. And here are the Trailblazers now. Rocket two. Shot by Odin is no good. It's Payne with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Suns. They trail by 14. Johnson finds Payne. Mills with the steal. Here's Batum. And that one off the back of the rim and in. Batum's got six here in this quarter. And while he's better known for scoring than playing the PG position in a traditional sense, Patty Mills becoming a better playmaker. Payne passes to Ayton. And here's Booker from the arc. They get it back. Payne's shot is good. Payne's got seven points. You don't want to ever give up points on the boards. That's the lesson for the timeout, team there. Timeout. That's a hustle play to save points. Now a timeout Go called ahead. by Portland. Bridges checked in for Sharks. Now here's Mills. Tight defense on him. Odin. Lee Baz was put in just the right spot. He's got nine. And he found the soft spot in the D on that possession. On the wing, Booker puts it up. That one a little long. And with the success they've had rebounding the basketball, they're right where you'd expect them to be, firmly in the driver's seat. He'll take his third and fourth free throw shots of the game right here. Two shots. That's good from Roy. Yeah. 
and both free throws good for Roy. Suns trail by 18. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Here's Booker. And the dunk by Booker. How about Booker getting up? These guys have had some good motion on offense. Nice assistant. And, and when everyone's involved offensively, it has a way of helping you on the defensive side as well. Again, the miss by the Trailblazers. And guys, you've heard of overpassing. Well, that shot was an example of underpassing. Maybe they can find a way to establish some rhythm in the next few possessions with the extra pass. The Suns shooting their sixth attempt at the charity stripe in the game. And Phoenix making a change here. Paul's checked in. Find the lanes. Find the lanes. One shot. And not a single free throw attempt in that first half, but he has been far more active since the break and drawn some fouls. Down low, here's Roy, and the layup is good after a nice lead pass. Roy's got 13 points here in the second half alone. Now here's Paul. 10 points for him. High arcing shot, and it's slammed in by Bridges. And that's just too easy. Bridges in there slamming it down. Trailblazers leading by 13. 136 left here in the third quarter. Aldridge dishes to Roy. And that one drops. Now that's a high percentage look when the D doesn't fight over the screen. And the coach over there just asking for one simple thing, and that's some effort. Got burned on that one. Booker looking around. Odin with the rebound. Odin's got rebound number 11 for him here tonight. Booker against Roy. Aldridge left side. Here's Odin. And he makes good on the way. Odin's got four points in the quarter. There he is, beasting on the glass, converting the opportunity, trying to put this game away. I just don't see how you climb back into the game when you're allowing plays like that to happen. Extra work on the offensive glass. Booker the pass to Aiton. He feeds it to Bridges, and it's slammed in by Bridges. There's a lot of people who are very curious about Aiton and the total package he is. Nice pass there. Passes to Oat. Fires it up. Phoenix grabs the miss. Now the pass to Johnson. Aiton at the elbow. Booker inside. He's covered by Roy. Here's Paul. No good with the elbow jumper. Well, through three quarters of play, down double digits, it may be difficult to overcome. Portland out in front, up by 15. And we're coming right back after this break to get the fourth quarter underway. And let's go back to a terrific pass that we're calling tonight our State Farm assist of the game. And, and I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call court vision. Well, a great job with the eyes. And what separates great playmakers, as we know, is peripheral vision. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today as we get going in quarter number four. On Phoenix, looking who they've got on the floor. Booker and Bridges are the wings. Andre Ayton out there with Johnson. And it's Paul in at the point guard. To the left side wing. Down to five on the shot clock. And there's the call on Roy. That'll be his second foul of the game.
Here's Booker. Ball outside from the arc. Rebound by the Trailblazers. Odin's Portland leading by 15. The feed to Roy. And a great assist by Miller as that one goes in. Miller's got six assists now in the game. Johnson outside. Tipped away. Play with it. Now guarded by Booker. Roy kicks to Miller. And some nice ball movement here by the Trailblazers. Pass to Batum. Paul with the steal. And now the Suns, a fast break. And a little luck that time, but it drops. Deceptive speed from Paul there. You never know what he's going to do. Inside, here's Roy. And Brandon Roy with the slam. Making the most of the screen. That's how it's done. And it's in the perfect spot, Greg. Frees him up to get all the way to the bucket. Really not enough help there. Lack of communication on the backside. Here's Booker. It's rebounded by Canby. Trailblazers leading by 17. Here's Roy. And the rejection by Eaton. And he gets it back. Miller, the pass to Odin. And it's Odin finishing it off. Straight rim rocker. It looked like a Greg for a second, like he might rip the cylinder loose. <laughs> Feeds to Aiton. Picks it out to Paul. Back to Aiton. Just five on the clock. A nice shot by Booker. And Devin Booker showing a nice touch around the rim. And here's Miller. He'll bring it up for Portland. They lead by 17. Pass to Roy. And a great assist by Miller as that one goes in. Roy, he's got seven points here in this quarter. Paul against Miller. Pass to Booker. Count it. Good. And, and you know, he's really been one of the few bright spots for them trying to will this team to victory. Outside Roy. To the middle. Here's Camby. It's hauled in by the Suns. Aiton's got rebound number 11 for him here tonight. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. It's on Brandon Roy. Well, as a young dynamic scorer, Devin Booker knows how to get his way against most defenders in the league. Shooting two. The first free throw is good. Well, Booker still has some upside. One of the best young scorers that we've seen in the NBA in the last decade. He's already an established star, and the sky is the limit for this guy. Now he just wants more wins. Jay Crowder's checked in for the Suns. And so he hits both. Yeah, I like that they haven't lost their aggressiveness here in the second, despite being down. Miller, the pass to Batum. Now here's Odin. Knocks it loose. Crowder with the steal. Baseline try. Will not go. This is off the front eye. Portland leading by 16. Outside Roy. Now the dish to Odin. Crowder with the steal. And here we go. Fast break. Paul's got it. It's blocked. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Batum.
Call against Miller. Call kicks to Booker. Booker draws the double. Lock at six. Ayton. Phoenix, no good that time either. Well, they've been better than good on the glass today, and there is a glaring discrepancy between these two teams in that area. Can be no luck. And this is what dominating the glass looks like. He just cannot be contained. Sort of reminding me of a little Ben Wallace action here from his years with the Pistons. He's been that much of a force rebounding the ball. Here's Paul. Nails the 16-footer. Paul's got four points now in the quarter. Well, that's a sweet spot for Paul. That zone between the arc and the paint might be his favorite. A career 50% two-point shooter. The pass to Roy. Here's Odin, defended by Crowder. Odin passes to Roy. To end the cold streak. Ball's knocked loose, but they recover it. Back to Odin. It's in and good for his sixth field goal in 10 attempts. And that's just cold-blooded right there. He's taking no prisoners. Confidence is sensational, and it feels like no one is going to stop him tonight from scoring. Pass to Ayton. Back to Paul. There's the three. In for his seventh bank in 14 tries. That gives him his second three of the half with three total for the game. Roy passes to Oden. Miller against Paul. To the inside. Him and slam dunk by Camby. Yeah, I mean, maybe could have tried for a more memorable dunk than that one. And we know he's capable of those memorable ones. Pass to Booker. That one good for two. Catching and shooting with confidence. Devin Booker letting it fly. Booker against Roy. Miller with a wide open look. And the three off target. Suns trail by 13. Booker finds Paul. And that's collected by Camby. Camby's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Passes it to Oden. And a great assist by Miller as that one goes in. Oden's got 10 points in just the second half. Booker the pass to Ayton. And Ayton throws it down. Does it feel good as a big man like Ayton to throw it down? You bet it does. Now a timeout called by Portland. And Kevin, he saw his, his guys just a little sluggish out there. Oftentimes a timeout like this allows you to kind of just reset. present our New Balance player of the game, Brandon Roy. Yeah, and his performance has been a jaw dropper. He must have been feeling great coming into the building tonight because once he hit the court, it was all working for him. He was in a zone. He sure has given this crowd a treat tonight. This kind of performance only cements his status as a fan favorite. On the sideline, let's catch up with Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Hey, guys, I was able to hear Nate McMillan talk to his team during the break. He told them, look, we're in a good spot. But one thing I want you guys to do, stay in the moment. Don't look ahead. Stay in the moment and compete. Kevin, we'll see if they can keep focused. Thank you, David. Yeah, that's the third bucket in a row from the paint. This defense needs to clog those lanes in the middle. And what a turnaround from the first half. I mean, he's been incredible here in the second half. The pass to Batum. Now Aldridge. 
And the dunk by Aldridge. Not much that gets sped up in the Marcus Aldridge's game. Right there, you could see the force that he has. Booker outside. Dishes at the ball. Count the basket. Paul's got nine points in the quarter. Love the aggressive attitude. I mean, no invitation needed for him to take it strong to the basket. Pass to Oat. Now Miller. Now here's Aldridge. He's covered by Aiton. Aldridge can't get it to go. And so Aiton will bring it up for Phoenix. Lobs it up for Crowder. And Crowder slams it in. Great game for him. Double, double down. 11 points and 10 rebounds. And maybe that'll trigger them. Impossible not to get pumped up after that. Yeah, well, you can see the immediate reaction of the guys on the bench. They are pumped up. Well, he had one three-pointer in the first half, but so far in the second, he's come up with goose eggs. Here's Bridges, and it's sent back by Aldridge. Play with it. Now guarded by Aiton. Roy kicks to Miller. Back to Roy. That's good. It's Miller with the assist. Roy's got 37. Always fun to look at. Not tremendously efficient, but the floater. Boy, those sure are pretty. Near the three-point line, it's Booker. Not going to go that time. And it's Portland the other way. Miller up on top. Defended by Paul. Down low. Here's Aldridge. And the defender getting caught in between there. Isn't sure which move Aldridge is going to and guesses wrong. Shooting for Portland. On Marcus Aldridge. Taking two shots. And that one falls for LaMarcus Aldridge. Interesting to see how LaMarcus Aldridge has embraced more and more of a leadership role with this team. He knows he has what it takes to guide this team to higher heights. Both free throws good from Aldridge. And if they continue, Kevin, their outstanding free throw shooting, that'll help them seal the deal. To the paint, here's Aiton, and Aiton throws it down. Of all the action happening there, it's the assist that jumps out to me there. That's just a great look and a great setup for the bucket. A key rebound there, but they can do a little better on the glass here down the stretch. And it's slammed in by Bridges. Booker's a good passer, becoming better in that area, and he knows how to work the ball around. Miller outside, looking for Aldridge. He gets it there. Trying to get open is open. And Aldridge gets it to go on the assist by Miller. Coaching staff would like some more shots from that range. 157 left to play in the final quarter. Here's Booker. And a foul call. Almost got it to go in, but he'll go to the line for two. It's on Brandon Roy. Booker being very active right now on the offensive end. Terrific at getting the defense to knock him around on the way up. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. Marcus Camby. He's checked in for Greg Oden. Both free throws good from Booker. 152 left to play here in the fourth. And here's Miller. Inside, Crowder with the steal. Fast break, here come the Suns. 
Bridges leading the charge. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Good idea to make Aiden earn it at the line because he's a menace in the paint. Don't let him get that shot off. Shooting two. It's the first that brings them to within 10. And he is unable to get the second one. And the team struggling to come back. He really wanted all of those free throws. Pass to Aldridge. Back to Miller. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. And though he tends to be a shoot-first guy at this end of the floor, Aldridge with a great pass there. That free throw good from Miller. Suns trail by 13. There's 117 left in the fourth. Broker the pass to Aiton. And Aiton throws it down. Well, difficult cover here on the pick and roll as Devin Booker's getting more and more experience playing out and making plays. Here's Miller. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. Give them credit. They've worked hard all game now looking to finish it. No, oh, great job of getting in position to win a game. It's been an all-out effort from the squad. That free throw good from Miller. Suns trail by 14. 56 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. No good from Booker. There is some defense for you. For someone who's as good at shooting the three ball as he is, you, you need a defender who's equally good at guarding against him. Back to Roy. Lays it up and banks it in. Roy's got 39. And once they smelled blood in the water, you could see the killer instinct take over. Yeah, up until that point, a competitive game. But once they broke through that barrier, it was all them. Complete control. Crowder, the pass to Paul. Basket good. Chris Paul, Chris Paul knows exactly not just who's going to hit him, but how they're going to hit him. And here's Miller. He'll bring it up for the Portland Trail Blazers. Well, this one is winding down now. Portland can watch the clock run out. And so Portland takes this one, but by a big margin. Some good competition, but the hometown advantage and their ability to stay focused, I think, made the difference. Yeah, and the, the first step in becoming a good team is your ability to win at home. And they really seem to revel in that opportunity. And, and this is what they came out to do. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Brett Berry, and David Aldrin, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA presented by 2K Sports. So long and good night, everyone.